Looking for family fun this autumn? You should check out Cal Poly Pomona's Pumpkin Festival every weekend now through the end of October. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're exploring the beautiful pumpkin patch and sunflower fields here at Cal Poly Pomona. Every weekend they're going to have a pumpkin fest and it's I think five dollars for admission. You get to enter, pick a pumpkin, get to go and do some of these cool activities such as the sunflower maze behind me. The corn maze is over on the other side. There's a petting zoo and there's also the farm store. So this is going to be a great time. Come join me at Cal Poly Pomona for our pumpkin fest. Cal Poly Pomona doesn't just have a pumpkin patch. They have a sunflower field. They have a corn maze, actually a couple of corn mazes. And it's a lot of fun for the whole family. This is the 31st year that Cal Poly Pomona has operated its pumpkin festival. And I love seeing all the cute animals at the petting farm, petting zoo. It's a lot of fun for everybody to come and check out animals. You can also check out plants for adults and there are plenty of things to do for everybody. What is your favorite family activity to do during the autumn? For me, I think that the pumpkin festival is always worth checking out because there are so many different things to do. And if you like mazes, there are plenty of them to choose from. There is so much to do at the pumpkin festival. General admission includes the country fair, live music, displays and demonstration from Cal Poly Pomona College of Ag Clubs, along with the marketplace, which features a unique collection of handmade crafts and plants. You're also going to receive admission to Cal Poly Pomona Farm Store. Now, during the festival, the farm store is only open to people who pay for admission on Fridays through Sundays. So if you want to go to the farm store outside of or you don't want to have to pay, just show up on a Monday through Thursday. I'm lucky enough to be able to visit the farm store throughout the year, and I love seeing how it changes for the seasons. They always have the best decorations, so if that's something, um, this salsa is also really, really good. So if you like to support Cal Poly, uh, this is all the proceeds from the sales of these items in the store go to help Cal Poly Pomona agricultural students. If you're looking for pumpkins, there are a wide variety of pumpkins available at Cal Poly Pomona just at the farm store. However, there's also an entire hill of pumpkins if you're interested in checking out an actual pumpkin patch. And you can check out some beautiful gourds. There are tons of beautiful pumpkins available for sale at decent prices. I myself picked up a couple of these beautiful pastel pumpkins. Look how gorgeous those colors are. And the prices are not bad because you can get a large pumpkin like so for $12. Or you can get a smaller pumpkin for only six bucks. So I think it's a pretty good deal in this day and age where everything has been getting more and more expensive, including pumpkins. As you can certainly tell, there is a wide variety of items available and you're probably going to find something that you like here at the store. Isn't this just so much fun? And like I said before, some of the best things are being able to find Cal Poly Grown produce. In addition to the plants, you can buy things like onions, corn, all kinds of things that are grown by Cal Poly Pomona students. I actually visit the farm store year round. As you can see, sometimes they have stuff that's grown at Cal Poly Pomona, vegetables that are available for sale grown at Cal Poly Pomona. Super exciting, and it's something that really helps support the students at the Agricultural College. So something to consider if you want to check out Cal Poly Pomona's farm store. So today we're at the Cal Poly Pomona Farm Store checking out some of their awesome collection of fruit trees. So we have bananas next to us right here, the Goldfinger banana and the Grand Name banana. But what I'm most excited about are these Beverly Hills apple trees. 
Now we live in a warmer climate and so it's harder for us to grow things like apples, peaches, that kind of thing because we don't have enough chill hours. So here, this was actually developed, this Beverly Hills apple tree was developed for climates that are warmer. So if you live in like that zones nine or 10, this might be the perfect apple tree for you. And we may take one of these home for our new front yard renovation. Stay tuned for more. Our peach trees. Oh, and they have mulberries. Now mulberries are delicious. Oh wow, this is nice. We might get a mulberry tree. Oh, Pakistan, look at these. These trees are huge. Definitely more than twice my height. <laughs> I think that's like 15 feet tall. Okay, these are pluaries. So plum and cherry mix. Persian green plum. Santa Rosa plum. And just this one. Blue Watts, Splash Blue Watts, Chocolate Persimmon. Oh, they have olive trees too. So this is like the tree of life, I believe. I think that I have one of these at my house. Um, I haven't really used plant ID on it, but I think it is the Moringa tree at my house. They're beautiful. And look how big this one is. That is almost a full tree and you're gonna get that for $13. So yeah, come here if you want to buy plants. There are a lot of succulents here too. We have some herbs, rosemary, lavender, parsley. Lots of basil still, it's mostly blooming, but you can, the blooms are beautiful in some of these. Purple ruffles basil, I love this one. Look how beautiful this one is. I have some of this in my house. Sweet lemon. Mmm, decimal like lemon. This is supposed to be good for year round longevity spinach. Oh, there we go. Have you eaten this before? Do you want to eat that? Wow, for 20 bucks you can buy an unknown plumeria species. Wow, these are beautiful. I don't have any white ones. Oh my goodness. $100 for these beautiful plants. That's a good deal. Here's some agave, foxtail agave. And we have yucca, big bend yucca. And a Mexican grass tree. Thank you so much for watching my video. And don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends if you like this content. Also, don't forget to subscribe. All this is free and it really helps out my channel. What is your favorite fall activity? Don't forget to share in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, your YouTube thinks that you're really going to like this next video. So go ahead and check it out and subscribe as well.